Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another commentary. Uh, Twitter just blew up. <laughs> I went on Twitter and everybody's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you gotta see this, you gotta see this. And so you guys are gonna see over on the side of the screen here somewhere. Uh, but I, it's so big, like I'm trying to stay away from it. Like it's taking up the whole screen. Uh, but basically on Reddit, and if you guys don't know what Reddit is, it's an online community where you can post whatever you want and people vote it up or down. And there's these things called subreddits. So like the Call of Duty community itself, the competitive community has a subreddit for competitive Call of Duty. And that has almost 10,000 people that follow it and that post on it and talk about it, uh, even including pro players and coaches and things like that. Uh, very informative. Uh, and then there's a subreddit for Optic Gaming. And the Optic Gaming subreddit normally is used to talk about all things Optic. One of my videos has been on there that was very controversial. Um, and today... Nade Shot made a post and he addressed a few issues actually. Uh, number one, he talked about the fact that um, he can't, he has his own play schedule. And it was funny because somebody was talking to me on Twitter yesterday and they were like, how come all these teams don't play together in these tournaments, in these like search and destroy tournaments? And the reality about these teams is most of them get on late in the evening and they play for like six hours straight together as a team. And that's practice time. Everything else is your own business. Like, and especially for Optic Gaming players who their salary is basically how much they stream and how much they upload. So for those Optic Gaming players, that's their job. Like, they have other stuff that they're doing. So even though for Scump, you know, to stream with Proofy or with Clayster, these t online tournaments, you know, Nade makes the point that he does other stuff. There's other things going on, but he hasn't, he's missed a few practices, hasn't missed a 5K or a 2K, and hasn't missed a single league match. And so he's kind of like, okay, back up off me a little bit, you know, uh, this is just, you know, me doing my thing when I'm supposed to, and when I'm supposed to be online with the team, I'm online with the team. Uh, so the that those are the first two things he talks about. The last thing he talks about is just when they were getting hit offline and they needed to reschedule their matches, I guess people were complaining. And it just sounds like what's happening. I don't go to the our, the uh, Optic Gaming Competitive Reddit very often, but it sounds like people have just been complaining a lot. And I think, you know, to be honest, I think people just... They want Optic to win again, and they're tired of them not winning, and so they're looking to play the blame game, and everybody's blaming Nade Shot. Now, I made a very controversial video uh, probably about four months ago where I talked about the fact that uh, I think that it would almost be better for competitive gaming if Nade Shot had a different role than being a pro player. Not to say that he is not good and is not worthy of playing and being a pro player. Someone like Rambo should be a pro player. Someone like Nade Shot, even Big Timer is still good enough to be a pro player. Uh, the reality though is that Nade Shot has developed into, he's developed a platform, and this is what I said in my video, a platform that he can use to be a liaison for these gaming companies, for these esports companies and still play as much as he wants and play in little tournaments and uh, but it may be time for him to step away from the team now something crazy was said and I, I don't know how true this is but Nate shot said at the end of this letter at the very bottom he says for everyone that says I need to give up my spot as captain don't worry 2014 will probably be my last year competing I'm tired of trying to please everyone prove everyone wrong and stress out 24-7. Now, I honestly feel bad that Nate Shot feels that way. You know, I mean, it is, I've said this a million times, but I wouldn't be where I am without Optic Nate Shot. Most of us wouldn't be where we are without Optic Nate Shot. Competitive gaming wouldn't be what it is without Optic Nate Shot. But specifically for me, um, there's been a few things that he's done that have help my channel and help my Twitter following um, and helped me grow and I appreciate it. Um, I still stand by what I said that I really believe that Nade Shot has built something that is bigger than being a pro player. And that's maybe, that's the best way to say it. You know, it's bigger than just playing on a team. And I know that's a huge deal. And when you're a competitor, you want to compete. I mean, and Nate Shot went off at Niagara in Search and Destroy. Some people say he's one of the best Search and Destroy players in the game. Some people say he is the best Search and Destroy player in Call of Duty Ghost right now. Uh, but Nate Shot has been going off. He's been doing a good job playing. Uh, Optic Gaming is third in the league right now, so they're playing great online. Uh, I think they're going to have one of their best placings at X Games. Please 
please don't shoot me. Uh, everybody was calling me an optic fanboy for saying that. Nevertheless, you know, Nate Shot is talking about that this is his last year playing competitively, and I hope that he doesn't leave the community. I hope that he takes this opportunity if he is going to leave, if he is going to retire. I hope that he takes this opportunity uh, to be, to use that platform and to create change within competitive Call of Duty. We've seen him at PAX. He's a great caster. I mean, Nadeshot can get behind the microphone, and I think he can be like, you know, he's America's favorite gamer. He can be the face of competitive Call of Duty that gets Call of Duty to go beyond even ESPN and to maybe be on ESPN more often like Halo used to be when there was a countdown for Halo plays and stuff like that. I think that that can all happen again, and Nadeshot can be one of those faces that, trans that kind of transists from makes a transition uh, from being a pro player to being more than a pro player and doing it extremely well. This dude is extremely talented. He knows how to entertain. When he puts his face on the camera, everybody, people will stare at Nate Shot. 30,000 people will stare at Nate Shot eating cereal. I mean, this dude is extremely talented, and I think that we haven't seen the best of Optic Nate Shot. We have not seen the best of him. I loved watching him compete for these last two years, but if he is going to retire, I really do hope that he stays around and then he does something bigger, you know, and becomes the voice. Uh, of Call of Duty Esports. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know. Crazy news, uh, Nate Shot saying that this is probably going to be his last year on the sticks. This is your boy, King of Soldier, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.